Hi everyone, I hope you are having a great day so far. Today we are sitting down and filming another makeup challenge. This one, I think, I don't know. I don't know how this one's gonna go. We are doing the alphabet makeup challenge. But I am not just doing my makeup, I am doing my full morning routine. So that is including skincare in this video. I have it all written down on my phone in a list of the steps in alphabetical order. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. This is another video that I found from Nikki Tutorials and I thought it was just another fun thing to do because I mean, Obviously, this is not how I would normally apply my makeup, but like, let's see what I can do with it. See what happens. <laughs> All right, so the very first step on my list is blush. So I think to keep things like laying nice on my skin, I'm going to use a cream blush. I'm gonna use this stick from ColourPop, I think. I wanna try and make this look as nice as possible, so I don't want anything to like lay weird, and I don't really wanna start with the powder because I'm gonna be adding liquids like till the very end. I know this looks crazy, but I'm gonna blend it in with the sponge. So I'm gonna apply this sort of like how I apply like my contour, which is a step I normally do first. And it's basically just gonna be like our base color that we're laying down. Okay, now I look like I've been working out. Perfect. Um, by the way, this is the ColourPop blush stick in the shade Totes. That's a really pretty color. I just don't use it as much. Um, but it's actually really nice blended out with the, um, with the sponge. Jeez, I can't think. <laughs> All right, so blush is done. Next, we're moving on to bronzer. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy Revlon Skin Lights bronzer. This is the one I've been loving. I'm gonna try and stick to the products, some of the products that I've been loving as well. This step is not too out of the ordinary for me. I have been liking bronzing before I put on my foundation, so. This isn't too weird, although normally I would do it with cream but I kind of count that as like my contouring, so that's gonna be its own step. Even though I basically do the same thing twice, but just once with powder and once with a cream. All right, we will call that good enough for bronzer. Next thing is concealer. So, let's see, today, Today I want to use this one from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the satin finish one and I'm in the shade Fair Warm. I don't want to cover up too much of the blush that I just put down, but I'm just doing sort of my normal concealing routine. My goal for doing and filming all these challenges is to get myself to step outside my comfort zone in terms of what products I'm using and how I'm applying them because I think it's really easy, especially literally being stuck in one place, to get stuck in a routine creatively. And so I'm trying to use these challenges to just like make myself think and, and change things up. And so it doesn't get boring for you guys. I don't wanna use the same products all the time. So I'm trying to switch things up and kind of evenly use the makeup that I do have which is why I'm kind of changing up some of the products that you've seen so far. I'm gonna add just like a dot more right on the inner corner. Cause I kind of feel like it's not, like I blended a lot of it away there. And I did not sleep well last night. So I need all the help I can get as far as dark circles go. And I'm not actually gonna take the sponge up into that crease anymore. I'm just going to take it and blend it out on the sides. All right, that is concealer done. Now that also is not too out of the routine for me. I would normally do cream bronzer and then concealer and then do foundation. So that wasn't too weird. Here's where things are going to get a little crazy <laughs> because now we're going to start bringing in skincare. So 
One of the steps in my skincare routine is this, which is an essence. And this is normally one of the first things I apply to my skin after like cleansing. So this is by the brand Peach and Lily. It is their Wild Dew Essence Treatment Drench and Rewind. Basically, it's like a hydrating um, and anti, uh, anti-aging serum type thing. So I just take a couple drops, put it on my hand, and then I just sort of tap it into the skin. I don't think that this is really gonna affect the makeup too much, but I think, yeah, it's just kind of giving me a little bit of a glow. This is normally the first step after cleansing because it just adds hydration back into your skin. So it didn't, it didn't make anything lay weird. It's just like adding a little bit of dew. I don't put that under my eyes, thankfully, so that, like I never put it under my eyes, so that did not affect the concealer too, too much. This is where things might get a little bit weird. The next step is eye cream. So I've been loving this one by Sunday Riley. I was like obsessed with it for a little while. I sort of fell out of doing like my intense skincare routine, um, but I do like this stuff. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. That's normally the amount I use. Rub it on both fingers and then pat it into that under eye. I love how concealer lays on top of this. So let's see how this lays on top of concealer. Sort of just uh, as I expected like adding a little more movement to the concealer but it's not actually doing anything too bad my under eyes look bright as heck but actually I was really nervous for that step and it looks totally fine if anything it actually made the concealer look a little more natural in person um, because I felt like it was sort of sinking into some of my lines and that kind of helped bring it back out. Weird. This is not turning out awful so far. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, so now we're getting into all the eye steps. So the next one is eyeliner. This is my favorite liner. Um, so I'm just gonna apply like sort of, I think I'm gonna do sort of like a thick wing type thing nothing too precise and just try and lay down sort of a base for color near my lash line. Okay, like that, like I said, just like a thick messy line and then I'm gonna take um, a little brush that looks like this and smudge it out. I like that technique. That is a technique that I learned from watching um, a Charlotte Tilbury video and she actually does her eyeliner first normally like this where it's just a really messy line and it sort of becomes like a guide for how you want the shape of your eyeshadow to be. So that's what I tried to do today. The next thing is eye primer. So we're going to prime right over that liner. This is my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This is what I use on the regular to prime my eyes. I'm gonna try to just not go over that liner too much. Next is eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use this Norvina palette from ABH, and I'm just gonna do like a fun look that I'll speed through on camera.
Okay, this is where I'm gonna stop on uh, the top of the lids for now. This is kind of fun. I've never done like this kind of purpley, goldy color, but I really like how it turned out so far. I'm just gonna actually bring a little bit of color underneath the lash line, and then that will be um, it. That will be it for the eyes. All right, the very next thing is false eyelashes. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I am horrific at applying these, so I'm gonna just pop them on off camera and then I'll be right back once they are on. False lashes are on. They're always a journey for me, so <sighs> it's like a love-hate relationship, mostly just hate. Now it's time for foundation. I am gonna take the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and we're gonna apply that to the face, which it's good timing because I kinda need to clean up some eyeshadow. All right, foundation is Done. Let's see what's next. We have highlights. And I want to use this bad boy. I've kind of been obsessed with this recently. This is from Ofra. This is the um, collab with Nikki Tutorials. And it's in the shade Everglow. It's really pretty. It's got these three shades, but I mainly use the two lighter ones. Really, really pretty as a highlight. I like the tone of it for my skin tone as well. feeling a little cakey so I wish that I could set my face <laughs> gonna use a little bit of the lighter shade on my brow bone all right and just to tone all that down and blend it in a little bit we're gonna use the sponge what is next mascara great okay I don't really need a lot of this, but I do need some of my lower lash lines. That's what I feel like I'm missing a lot of. I'm using the Winky Lux So Extra Mascara. I'm just going to use a tiny bit to blend my lashes with the false lashes. Some bottom mascara so that I don't look crazy. All right, let's see what is next. Moisturizer. <laughs> okay. So we're diving back into another skincare step. I'm going to be using my moisturizer. See what happens. This is by Sweet Chef. This is the Super Poops. <laughs> this is the Superfood Vitamins and Moisture Boost. Hydrates, soothes, and brightens. I've been really liking this. We're gonna take just a little bit of that. <sighs> Rubbed into my hands. Pat it on the skin. That actually did nothing. I thought it was gonna get really weird, but it really didn't do anything. Cause this um this moisturizer, it it almost like mattifies itself really quickly. So I guess I shouldn't have been too worried about it. I thought that was gonna throw everything off. I thought that was gonna be where things got wild. Okay, lip gloss. Ooh, I will show you guys my newest lip gloss obsession. This is by Floss, which stands for favorite gloss. And um, this I got in the Allure Beauty Box and I really like this gloss. It doesn't really have scent, doesn't really have a taste. It's just like a nice clear gloss. I don't know why I went back in for a second coat because I have to do stuff on top of this. Let's do lip liner. For liner, we're gonna use this one by Jordana, and this is in the shade Rose Crush. This is one of my favorite lip liners, and I got it at CVS for like a couple bucks. Oh, ew. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but it pretty much just pushed the lip gloss away. I don't know if I'm getting any pencil on here. Okay. I 
I have like no control over where this is actually going. I honestly, I'm not that um, precise with my lip liner anyway. I don't even know if that did anything. I don't know if you could see the tip of this, but it's like covered in lip gloss. That's unfortunate. Okay, well we we'll give that a solid you tried on that one. Like I don't I don't really know if I could say I completed that step, but I I did try. And now let's do lipstick. What shade should we do? I want to go pretty neutral, so I'm going to use my favorite. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is like one of her um kiss kissing lipsticks and this is in the shade jk magic also pretty hard to tell where you're putting the color it sort of just turns it into like a glossy balm that is sort of a little pinky i kind of want something a little bit dark also so i'm gonna go in with one more lipstick because more is more right this one is a ColourPop collab with Kathleen Lights and it's in the shade What's Your Sign. I always like this when I want to make something a little more brown. Yeah, that matches the eyes a lot better. This is, I really like this lipstick as well. Those are probably my two favorite neutral lipsticks that I have. All right, y'all, it's time for powder. <laughs> 10 bajillion years later, I feel like things might get bad here because I've got some liquid things to do. We are gonna use my favorite powder right now. It's a pressed powder. This is by Winky Lux. It's their diamond powder. I've been obsessed with this under the eyes, on the face, so we're not changing it up. Honestly, I don't feel like I've needed to set too bad because that um, Beauty Blender foundation dries real, real matte. All right, so we are back. The next step is primer. And uh, I don't know what the heck primer I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one, actually. This is from Neutrogena, and it's a radiance boosting primer. So I'm hoping that using this sort of this late in the game is not going to mess everything up, but it's just going to add another layer of glow back to the skin because I'm actually feeling a little matte. So this might be just what my skin needs. Got just a couple pumps of that. And we'll just pat that into the skin. It's almost just like a liquid glow serum. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, okay. Sorry, but I was not about to put a silicone primer on top of all this already dryness. My skin would just simply not survive that. Let's go ahead and do the next step, which is Serum, another skincare step. We're gonna use this one by Earth to Skin. This is the Superfruits Watermelon Hydrating Juicy Serum. So again, we're just gonna attempt to get a little more hydration back on the skin. Just rubbing that in and hopefully it doesn't move the makeup too, too, too much. Not bad. Honestly, it just brought life back to my skin. I think the foundation's looking pretty pretty cakey at this point but all things considered I'm not too upset we are on to the very final step and that is setting spray which is actually normally my last step so I'm not too mad okay what the heck this actually turned out like totally fine I filmed another challenge earlier in the week and I don't know if it will be up yet but it was a disaster and to be quite honest, I was expecting this one to go the same. I thought that there was no way that this would turn out nice. But like from a distance, we just look full glam and ready to go. I'm not mad at all. From a little ways away, make sure I'm in focus. My skin actually looks really, really dewy and glowy and not bad at all. When you do get a little closer, there's definitely a bit of that cake face simply because there's so much stuff layered up into like a weird order. There's like creams, then powders, then serums, and then more powders, and more creams, then more serums. And normally I would not do it like that. But all things considered, it's really not too bad. My nose is kind of dark and I don't know if I accidentally dipped into the wrong highlight shade when I did that, but 
whatever. I'm really happy with the eyeshadow, actually. It's, it's a really pretty look, and I've never done anything like this, so I think that's kind of fun. I like bringing in, like, a pop of purple. I think that's really cute. So you can see the skin a little bit better. I'm not sure how close. I don't want to get, like, super in your face, but I think right around sort of the nose area and, like, right around here is where you can tell the most that it's a little bit cakey. But I really like these eyes. I don't know. I never do my eyes like this. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, all in all, I'm not mad at this. What do you guys think? Have you tried something like this? It's actually really fun, and this is one of those things you can do just like entertain yourself at this time because you don't need to have any specific products. You don't need any new products. You can just use what you have. Do your whole routine in a different order and see if it makes you want to like change anything. All right, you guys, that is pretty much everything with the alphabet makeup challenge i'm very pleasantly surprised with how this turned out like i kind of am probably gonna leave this makeup on it didn't turn out bad at all thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me i always appreciate when you click on these videos and sit around and watch them if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe hopefully this helps give you a little distraction if you have been stuck inside like i have and yeah, I put out new beauty videos every week, so stay tuned. I will see you guys again very, very soon.